you're pitching a VC and the VC asks you, do you have convertible notes? What are the terms? If you want to know the answer, stick with me now. Ask Alex. Ask Alex. Because you don't know what you don't know. And if you don't know, now you know. Yeah. So what do they mean? Convertible notes are debt instruments that convert into equity. Someone gets diluted by these notes, and it's not always clear whom. If you don't know the three ways that this debt will convert, then you need to read this nerdy article. It's called Key Convertible Notes, uh, Terms That No One Understands and Will Cost You Big. And we're going to go through the three manners, which is one, the pre-money method, two, the percentage ownership method, and three, the dollars invested method. I know this probably means nothing to you right now, but you need to go read that article, okay? Especially before you start writing convertible notes. Investors are asking this question to understand your capitalization table and what the potential impacts are of any convertible instruments. Now, there is typically nothing sneaky about this question. If they're asking it, it means that they're ticking off the mental boxes before maybe pulling the trigger on the deal. This is typically not a question to be asked in the first meeting. It can also uh, be an off-the-cuff question that you just get asked out of interest. So now we need to deal with like the terms part of those two questions. It's not commonly known by founders, but once you agree to terms in a deal, they become a watermark for future investors. So if you are stupid enough or desperate enough to do something shitty like a two times liquidation preference, then future investors will want the same or more, not less. And they're going to use those terms against you. So be really careful about the terms that you take and don't just, just focus on the valuation. When investors are asking what the terms are, they want to know if you've accepted bad terms and so rather dumb, naive, or desperate, if you have screwed yourself, and if they can get the same terms. You don't need to say each and every term, but you need to say the main ones. You can also say, here are the key terms, blah, 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 one, two, three. The note agreement will be in the data room for you to review once we have signed a term sheet. So now, what do you need to say? Yes, our seed round was done at a 2 million convertible note, converting the next qualified financing round, which would be the Series A we're discussing now. The terms are pretty standard, but for headlines, there's a 20% discount with a 6 million cap. Uh, we also negotiated to mitigate the phantom preferences. Phantom preferences, you ask? Again, read the blog that I just told you to read. I'll put a link below for you to check it out. It is nerdy, it's long but it's really important so you don't get fucked over because you don't know better. And by the way, a lot of investors don't know this stuff either. This is like A-level knowledge. Now, I hope that was really useful. If you want to work with me or learn more, there's a, f f a bunch of free tools, content on my blog, alexanderjarvis.com.